Well, a recent medical study has found drinking as little as one alcoholic drink may contribute to increased blood pressure for both men and women. Dr. Vivek Waswami of the Heart Hospital joins us this afternoon for some insight. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Okay, so we've long known that drinking alcohol in moderate to even heavy amounts can really impact someone's blood pressure, but a recent study by hypertension found that low alcohol consumption might possibly increase blood pressure. What did this study find? What were the findings? That's right. So, uh, you know, we've, we're talking about something that affects almost half of all Americans, yes. right? 48% of America, in terms of adults, have blood pressures greater than 130 over 80. And historically, it's been a lot of causes that lead to that, mm. whether it's a family history, what we're eating, inactivity, smoking, even sleep apnea. And as you mentioned, alcohol has long been associated mm -hmm. with the development of high blood pressure. However, this recent study, which is a meta-analysis that combines seven studies, uh, the authors suggest that even drinking one alcoholic beverage per day can wow. increase your blood pressure to a significant degree. So the message is if people are struggling with controlling their blood pressure, not only would they want to minimize alcohol, they may consider eliminating alcohol altogether. And that's what, okay, so in terms of any CDC recommendations or any rec recommendations by doctors, do those change in terms of this new research that we yeah. got? Should people limit their alcohol usage? Yeah, so, you know, that remains to be determined. Anytime okay. we're doing a meta-analysis, there are inherent limitations mm -hmm with this. So I think it's interesting and I think certainly more research is needed. But really, when it comes to blood pressure, I think checking blood pressure on a regular basis, being very random with it, making sure that uh, we're not having blood pressure on a regular basis, uh, engaging in a low sodium diet, less than two grams per day, can be just as effective as taking a medication, regular exercise, uh, treating sleep apnea if it's present, and uh, if all those things fail, then medication could sometimes bring blood pressure down as well. Okay, okay. And in terms of this research, looking at alcohol intake, did it look at the type of alcohol and then the impact on certain age groups as well as pre-existing conditions? Do we know anything about that? That's right, and that's an important point. That's one of the limitations of doing a meta-analysis mm -hmm. like this. So not only do we not know what type of beverage was being consumed, it's also being self-reported, so there'd be, there could be some inconsistencies there. Oftentimes people that are prone to drinking alcohol may be prone to more of a sedentary lifestyle. Mm. They may smoke, they may have more stress. So all those confounding variables are some uh, limitations. So um, although it's interesting that maybe even relatively small amounts of alcohol can lead to significant increases in blood pressure, I think more, res uh, more research is needed. Mm -hmm. And I think anyone struggling to control their blood pressure should certainly consider limiting their alcohol use altogether. Okay, that's a key message right there. That's right. Okay, Dr. Swami, thank you so much for being with us. This Thanks afternoon. for having me.